Morning. Well, another beautiful day in Scotland. Looks like it's gonna pish with rain. The skies are grey as fuck. And we're gonna go and get a haircut. I also watched the new prison break last night. I'll be waiting to see where that fucking series goes. Like, how can you continue on a series where you've already broke it about 16 fucking prisons? Are you just gonna keep breaking out of prisons? Right, we're gonna get a haircut. Let's hope the barbers are not too fucking busy. There's nothing worse than when you go to the barbers and end up finding a queue of about 45 people. You probably wait an hour just to get your hair cut. So the hair's looking a lot shorter. Decided to cut it a bit shorter because it was getting too long. I don't know if you all saw in the previous vlog, when I was cycling along in the bike, what was happening is because the length of the hair, the wind was just blowing it everywhere and it looked a fucking state. So I decided it's time to get it cut nice and short. The only issue is, is because I had a high shaved line up here, it's kind of shorter here, but it'll grow in. Be fine. But the end of these vlogs, I'll have a normal haircut probably. This is exactly what I need in my life right now. Iron Brew McDonald's. I wish they would have had it yesterday, that would have been an even better hangover cure. Pfft, fucking amazing. Uh. If there's one thing in life that you can depend upon, it's the fact that a McDonald's will straighten you right out after a hangover. Well, at least it's kinda bright. Who am I trying to kid? The skies are grey as fuck. Anyway, jump in the car, up the town, catch the train, and into Glasgow we go. Should probably fix this wee tough day here first though. Actually, fuck it, I better stop fucking about before I miss this bloody train. So I was driving along on the way up to the train station there, and there was one of the council community dog wardens walking around like the dog pole as he had two dogs under his arms walking up the street. Fucking mental. I better run to catch this train now. I phoned my brother and asked him to give me a lift to the train station. I expect he's probably still lying in bed with a raging hangover after we went out a couple of nights ago. I don't expect him to surface for about another two days. I considered cycling into Glasgow. Then I jumped into Google Maps and had a look and seen how long it was going to take. It's going to take how long? I bumped into randomly sitting at the train oh station. Oh god! What's happening, John? Where are you going? I'm going to Glasgow. <laughs> if I just randomly bump into John sitting on the flipping train station platform heading the other direction, I'm going into Glasgow to meet up with Marley for a meeting, and he's heading into Edinburgh for some flat viewings. For those of you who don't know, John's the only other daily Scottish vlogger that I know, and he just happens to stay in Falkirk. Chances you bumping into him on the train station platform is just totally weird. <laughs> if you don't know who John is, I'll link his channel in the description. Make sure to jump down and check it out. Glasgow, here we go. When I normally get the train into Glasgow, they've got about four carriages for six million people. A day they had about a hundred carriages for like three folk. The train might have been quiet, but the tune definitely is, not it? Who's this dickhead? <laughs> That's the goal in life, is to end up with a statue built with yourself and for somebody just to come along and poke a big cone in its head. I can't want to be Scottish, but I fucking hate the sound of bagpipes. If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Ideally, I mean, how many controllers do you need? And there's about 18 different kinds here. <laughs> just keep them on me. <laughs> just keep them on. Just give me everyone. I'm feeling in a different mood today. I'm needing one with some gold buttons instead of some blue ones. <laughs> you know the score. Cheeky Nando's thing. Cheeky Nando's. <laughs> I think I might just get chips this time because I'll fucking stop. Standard procedure. Butterfly yeah. chicken, mate. You've got, you've got like your plainish, your lemon and herb, your medium hot, your extra hot. You should just call that one arsehole burning because you'll feel it on the way back here. It's so much better after something to eat, man. Nando's, always the best they gear. What the hell is all that? About back and forth, there's us going past the cunt with the cone hat again. He'll be sick of the sight of us. Marley's for Glasgow, he's got an iPhone with Google Maps up and he still can't find the Merchant Square. <laughs> and that's the excuse, I can't mind where I'm going usually because I'm half the time steaming. We're in Glasgow trying to find some Wi-Fi to make the vlog for yesterday live, so if it's late tomorrow, it's the internet connection, it's not my fucking fault. Aye. Also, we're about to pass this guy with the cone and easy digging. Now the horse has got a cone in its head. <laughs> what is happening? No, every time, 10 minutes, every, time we, cone, every time we walk past, there's something different about it. <laughs> Just been and seen a few places, hopefully might be able to bring you some interesting content over the next week or two. Definitely did. Definitely did. Never did. Wait till you see this. Wait till, wait till you see this, mate. Wait till no, you no see No spoilers. This is cool. It'll be good. It'll be good, though. It's amazing how some bubbles can bring every grown adult to smile. There's a boy walking down the high street trying to heed some bubbles as he walks down the street. I'm buzzing. I'm actually buzzing. <laughs> He's off his tits for bubbles, man. Grown men <laughs> in our 20s, man. Where's the bubbles? Where's the bubbles? That's going to be one of the worst hand dryers I've seen in my life. I reckon I could blow in my hands and dry them quicker. That's Marley away. Time to go and catch the train. Been a productive day of walking about and talking to people. That's a constructive day in Glasgow for me. This guy, everywhere I go, this fucking guy, everywhere I go, this guy. What's the chances, man, eh? Jumping up to the train station this morning, meeting John sitting on the platform, heading out towards Edinburgh. 
and me heading out towards Glasgow and then conveniently both of us returning to the same station at the same time. I suppose that's how trains work, but yeah. you, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just a strange occurrence that we both end up getting on back around about the same time after leaving at the same time, after messaging on this morning at 15 minutes before we met up, totally oblivious to the fact we were going to meet up. And then we're actually on the way out for a cycle later on together, so it's like... It's just meant to be. It's meant to it's be meant that we're to together in this video. It's just meant to be. Also, I sat in the train the entire time behind a woman searching through her phone on eBay looking at shoes. At 20 minutes, she sat there just flicking through the same coloured shoe. You see all the recordings that you've seen up to this point in the video? It's drained my battery from 100% to 20%. It feels like we're at about the four minute mark. That's just an absolute estimation. Do you know what? I might just go into the edit and change this clip to the four minute mark just to make it look like I know what I'm talking about. That'd actually be really good. I that could, eh? Class. Just pure randomly insert a clip in the mid. If you're watching this clip. <laughs> if you're watching this clip, it means you're four minutes in. <laughs> Congratulations, you've made it to the four minute mark. Now there's going to be a mid roll ad. No, there isn't. I look one swift and interesting for a change. I look like I'm With pure all one. That hair. <laughs> all that it's, hair. It's like one of the pure like army flat cuts at the top, man, just bald at the sides and just hair here. That's what it is. You're, you're a jarhead. So I'm going to go and jump back in my car, go home, edit the first part of this video, charge my phone, and this motherfucker's coming down to my house and we're going for a cycle. In the wind and the rain. I'm bringing my jacket this time. I never brought it last time. I'm fucking bringing it this time. Yeah. I'll see you in a short bit then. Okay. So fast forward about two hours and that's us out for a cycle. <laughs> Whew, I'm getting tall for this shit. I don't know if you can see me, but this here is a blue bridge. I've no idea why it's blue, but I know that the colour blue light's used to deter junkies from finding their veins and shooting up. I wonder if this was an issue. Maybe there was loads of junkies under this bridge. Shooting up. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work, you fucking seen that coming a mile off. Shock horror. We're at the Kelpies again. Shooting some more time lapses. I need to cut this piss out or someone's going to start thinking I'm artistic. Very soon I'm going to be asking the Kelpies to pay me for all this promotion. I mean, I sit and bash it every day of the week, but still, it might be shite, but it's our shite. This bobag just said to me, do you want to get a shot of a cycling down there? And he just fucking cycled all the way down there without me. By the time I put my camera in my bag, he fucked off and left me. Free camera! <laughs> <laughs> he was just ran along there and dropped his wallet. He was not caring about that. All he wanted was his fucking camera. <sighs> well, that's not an eerie tunnel that you're likely to get raped in anyway. Every time I turn around, he's away filming, sir. Like, he just talks to his cell. He's a fucking mental bastard. There's a guy talking to himself. <laughs> Granted, that is a very valid point. We randomly found a football at the Helix Park. If this ball belongs to you, it's fucking mine now! On the heat! Oh. Get the fuck! Where do you think my heat is out at the Falkirk Stadium, you cunt? You're taking the fucking piss! It's fucking about put it in the fucking helix water! You daft bastard, you! I could get a job as the Scotland penalty taker, you cunt! Take aeroplanes out of the sky! Probably still be more accurate than half the Scotland team. That's plenty! I'm about to take a shot at this fixed wheeled piece of shit. This should be interesting. We've cycled down from the Helix Park on John's shitty fixed wheel bike. It's a piece of shit. And we're now outside the Falkirk Stadium, for those that you don't recognise it. The Falkirk Stadium. The place where dreams are made. Or, or broken if you're a Falkirk fan. We actually left the ball down at the Helix Park when we cycled down to the Falkirk Wheel. John's decided that we're going to go and get it and take it home with us. So the next time we're out, we can play some football. Fuck it. I mean, at least it's better than playing with a shitty flyaway. At least that ball's pretty solid. Nope, scratch that. Apparently the ball's vanished into the darkness of the night. What is it they say the Kelpies are? They come out of the water and fucking eat small kids or something like that. This one comes in and eats their fucking fit boss. Oh, look, there's the wall. I almost broke my knee on. For those of you that are more regular viewers, you'll probably remember this wall. It's a wall at the Helix Park. It's actually in one of the previous videos I'd set the clip of when I ran into that wall and fucked my knee. There was me thinking I was being a fucking comedian trying to run and park or jump it. Look at the fucking size of it. What was I expecting? Fucking moron. The Kelpie's car park's just full of cars with lights on at this point. I'm starting to wonder if it's becoming a dog in sight. <laughs> so for the third time in one video, we now need to say bye to John again. I'm 
I'm sure we'll catch up with him at some point during the week for another cycle. Bye guys, subscribe, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking. So I'm out here on a bike quite late at night, wearing a balaclava with a bag on my back and some gloves in my hand. I must look like I'm about to rob some cunt. Honestly, I'm not in a thieving mood. Yeah. And before this Barry dies on this banger of a phone. So John's away home, I've got a video to edit, so I'm going to end today's video here. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching, or I'll see you all tomorrow at 7pm right, for the next here. video. I never said I'm the nicest guy in the world, but I'd rather die for my girl. I'ma buy her diamonds and pearls. And that don't mean that she's materialistic. I know she fell in love with me, cause I'm a lyrical misfit. We stare in the whip and the sunshine and cheering and singing, he's saying, I'm in love with the shape of you.